Hello and welcome back to another episode of Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and today we are looking at the Hot Wheels Rebel UN Fighter. And this ship is awesome. I already looked at the titanium version and several Hot Wheels from the line so far. So we have a lot to cover. We got detail, we got paint, we got movable winds. So let's get right to the review. Looking at the mold, we can see nice panel work going down these winds. And then we have our guns, which were molded pretty well. And nice panel work and lines on the main cockpit section. Going back, we have this midsection with this nice circle and lines back here. Similar to a snow speeder. Now the engines themselves are molded really cool. And they have nice lines, panels. And they're mostly all the same. Just very cool. The front of the engines, we have our little section. Which is uh, reversed from what I think it should be. But uh, it is what it is. We also have that for the interior of the engines on the bottom. And then we have some detail on the back of the engines on the back of the ship. And that also looks pretty good. For the back of the ship, we have more ridges. On the bottom, we have our three rivets, copyright crap, the peg connector port, and more lines and detail, some paneling. Very cool ship. I really do like this a lot. Just like the titanium version, these winds do open up. And they go that far back. Now, I'm pretty sure you could just set them up like that. But I guess if you want that, you could put them all the way. Uh, I like to have mine similar to the titanium. For me, that looks just about right. And uh, it does look pretty cool. And the joints for them to go back is hidden back here. Of course, it makes the back of the ship blocky because you got to hold all those uh, screws or whatever. Here's the rivets that hold it together. So, uh, but anyway, it's pretty cool. It's a nice ship. Let's fold that back. So now I'm done with the uh, detail. Let's take a look at the paint. Now looking at the paint, the main color is this nice white. And that goes all the way around. Now on top of that white, we have some yellow. We have some blue. We have a little black for the windows of the cockpit. And then we have dark gray, which covers the guns the engines, and this center section here going down and covering the whole bottom. And then we have a little blue right here as well. And right here you can see a piece of the paint that chipped off. Now that came in a package like that, but it is what it is. I don't really uh, mind it that much. And that's about it. So uh, now that we're done with the paint, let's measure him up, put him on a stand, and see how he compares to another ship. When it comes to measuring the Rebel UN from Hot Wheels, she stands a little over three and three quarters, so it's a nice size ship. And just like all Hot Wheels, comes with this cool stand. Put that peg in the port, and you're good to go. To compare with the Hot Wheels UN Fighter, I have it next to the Hasbro Titanium version, slash Black Series. And, you know, both ships are good in their own way. Now, I could sit here for like an hour nitpicking which one has what and which one doesn't. But I narrowed it down to about... Three things that I think makes these guys stand out from each other. Now, first up, the Hot Wheels underneath. We had this nice wind, which I went over before. Now, look at the titanium. It's kind of hollow, and I don't really prefer that. I like when they're more accurate like this. The second is, the engines are not even on the Hot Wheels version. And I don't know which one is accurate. Uh, we're going to have to wait until the movie comes out to tell for sure. And the third one is the winds themselves. Now for the Hot Wheels, it goes like that. Which, it's pretty cool, I'm not going to knock it. Now with the titanium, it doesn't go past the engines. So again, we're left with uh, two different sort of designs. Besides those three, they are almost identical. And, and that does it for my review of the Star Wars Hot Wheels Rebel UN Fighter. Now this thing's pretty cool. It does have the moving sections, the details there, the paint's good. It's got everything you want. Plus the stand is a nice touch, being translucent. Now these are easy to find. I got mine for like four something at Walmart. I do recommend this. If you're a collector of the Hot Wheels series of ships, go for it. And if you're a fan of Star Wars diecast ships in general... Pick it up, it is worth it. It, it. it isn't a bad model by any means. 
So thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed my review, please like and subscribe for new reviews every Thursday. And I'll see you next time. Bye.